Welcome back to CBS This Morning. We are in Washington, a city that is captivated by Christine Blasey Ford's allegations against Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. We will hear their testimony in just a few hours. The Senate hearing will take place in Dirksen 226. Now, that's a smaller room that normally would not hold a hearing of this magnitude. Let's go back to Nora on Capitol Hill for what to expect. Nora, I don't just think that Washington is captivated by this story. I think the country is really interested in hearing what Dr. Ford has to say today. Good morning to you. You're right, Gail. This is historic, almost like the Anita Hill hearing some 27 years ago. I've already heard from people who have said they've taken the day off from work mm -hmm. because they want to watch this because it is a moment in history, because not only the content of what's going to be discussed, but we're in the midst of a cultural moment, too, right? Now, here's what's really interesting. You just showed that room inside the hearing room, and I want to describe because it's going to look very different than some of the hearings we've covered in the past. There will only be what they call three pool cameras in there. And then they are limiting the number of still photographers. Remember when you see, like, for instance, someone go testify in a big hearing, there's all these still photographers that come in. Well, we're told they're allowing only seven still photographers in there. So it's going to be much more intimate in that conversation. They are going to allow just a limited number of reporters as well inside that room because in part of Christine Blasey Ford's in hesitation about a big public spectacle. So they, this is in part to accommodate some of her concerns. Now, what about the Judiciary Committee? What about the senators? Well, they, this committee is made up of some of the oldest, longest serving members of Congress. In fact, Senator Grassley and Senator Feinstein, they're the two ranking members. They're both 85 years old. Well, also some of the youngest ideological warriors. You're looking right now at Orrin Hatch and Patrick Leahy. They were actually there on the committee when Anita Hill testified back in 1991. Some other senators to watch for, the Democrats, Cory Booker, Kamala Harris, Amy Klobuchar, all of them have expressed aspirations perhaps about running for president in 2020. And Republican Ben Sass, he is someone to watch as well. He has also been seen as someone who is a future presidential candidate, has bucked his party, has spoken out against Senator, uh, excuse me, President Trump on many occasions. Now, the committee's top Democrat, California Senator Dianne Feinstein, she has been at the center of this ever since the beginning. Remember, her office sent a letter to the FBI about Ford's accusation just two weeks ago. Now, yesterday, Bo Erickson from our Capitol Hill team snapped this photo of Feinstein essentially confronting Republican Lisa Murkowski. Lisa Murkowski is a key swing vote who could upend Kavanaugh's nomination. Murkowski is at least one of the four undecided Republican senators, along with Susan Collins, Jeff Flake, and Bob Corker. And here's what's key. If two of them vote no, Kavanaugh's path to a con confirmation is nearly impossible. Now, the Senate Majority Leader, Mitch McConnell, he has said there will be a floor vote on Kavanaugh no matter how he fares in this committee's vote. That's interesting. We also know they are going to try and push this committee vote as quickly as possible. They say they want to vote tomorrow morning on that, but we'll see. We have to listen today to what both Dr. Ford and Kavanaugh say. All right, Nora, can we talk about that photo for just a second? That's one of those things where you really wish you could be a fly on the wall. Uh, it, it certainly doesn't look like a friendly conversation. It looks very intense. Have you heard anything at all about what the conversation was? I'm so curious what they were talking about. We may never know unless they share it with us, but it's a great picture. And most senators usually keep those conversations private for a reason. But as you can see, they are deep in conversation. Mm -hmm. And Murkowski has expressed key concerns about what this hearing is about, that it's not just about Kavanaugh, that it is about Dr. Ford and the accusations that she has made. And as many of the senators, specifically the Democrats, have said, what's at stake here, too, not his qualifications, but his character. And I think that's really going to be why we're going to see something very different today. Because, Gil, you mentioned this, I think, earlier. It's going to be personal. They're going to talk about his drinking habits. They're going to talk about his sexual habits. And so it's going to be, I think, uncomfortable. And it might even be salacious. Yes.
Yeah. Nobody yeah. wants to talk about their sexual habits or their sex life, and certainly in not in high school. What Go, were you going to say? Going about? back to that picture, a lot of people thought, well, this looks exactly like what used to be called the Johnson treatment. Lyndon Johnson oh. would get right in your, your space face. as a senator. But what's different from that? It's not Lyndon Johnson and Senator Russell, two old crusty men. It is yes. two women leaders of the Senate. Yeah. That's the history that we're in the middle of now, and that's what's so different about that extraordinary picture from what we've seen before. Thanks, Nora.